Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time, and today we'll be doing a start to finish install courtesy of ID in Hair. I've slayed her literally in about 10 to 15 minutes, so this is going to be super easy to follow along if you're interested in getting the deets and all the tea. Keep on watching. So this is what she looks like straight out of the box. She is a Yaki straight 13 by 6 3D lace wig. The lace is 3D lace and it fits like a glove. They also included this beautiful elastic band. It is adjustable and you can take it out if you want or you can leave it and it can fit pretty much all sizes. It's nice and sturdy. We're going to go ahead and put the wig on and as you guys can see, she fits super snug. Love the length and cut on this one. It's super beautiful, not sparse at all. I'm going to go ahead and push my wig cap back and pull the wig forward now i wanted to slow it down so you can see that this one definitely fits glueless we will be doing a glueless install with a holding spray here's a look at the hairline they did pluck it for the gods you don't have to do any customizations to this one but of course if you want you can here I am just filling myself and just trying her on for size. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with her. Did I want to do a center part, a side part? I opted for a style I've been seeing very heavy on Instagram lately. It's a super like C-curve style parting. For some reason, I it took me forever just to get it this good. And as you guys can see, it still has a little angle to it. So I still have to work on it. But you get the picture. You do a C-curve and then you kind of like go in front of the swoop side and you pull a little bit out that's going to be used for baby hair you'll see a little close-up of how i do it in just a moment but for now i'm going to work on perfecting that parting i'm going to go in with my dynamic duo which is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and really just go in and take my time and get it as smooth and flat and as close to what arrogant tay would do as i always say as i could then this little piece that i pulled from the opposite side i kind of twist it and separate it because that's going to be the little swoop baby hair to mimic again what we see on Instagram lately. Now let's go in and cut off the excess lace. You can use small scissors, big scissors, whatever you have. You can even use an eyebrow razor. These are just what I have on hand today. And I'm showing you a close-up of the hairline and how flawless it is before any customizations and also how flat and flush it lays to my head. This one fits perfect it fits like a glove i can't stress that enough because that is so important these days because you can't just rely on like whatever you're bonding the wig down sometimes like if that wears off especially like on a hot day or a busy day you still want the wig to just sit right on the head you don't want it to be big and bulky by any means especially if you're investing your good hard earned money now a key is to see when a wig fits you good is you're able to add your hairspray and lay the lace on top and you don't have to necessarily hold it down like once you put the lace on top it sits exactly where it needs to if the wig is too big you'll have to hold it in place with two hands which makes it a little bit difficult and you have to work in sections the bonus today is I did not have to work in sections at all it was literally sitting where I needed so I just blow dried on a cool setting until it was bonded down. Now I am going for Instagram sideburn. So I did pull out the little mini flat iron today. I curled the hair, the baby hair that is towards my face and gave it a little bit of bump. And then I trimmed it to the length I thought would work. If you trim it too long, you can always go back in and trim it shorter. Here I am just making sure that it has enough heat and enough curl to it to do what I needed to do without burning yourself. Be cautious, do not burn yourself because trust me, it is going to last. That little burn mark is gonna last forever. Next, let's use a little bit of edge control. And the key with edge control in Instagram baby hair is to only apply the edge control at the top or the base of the parting or the baby hair like basically at the roots is what I'm trying to say and then you kind of like use your comb or your baby hair brush to kind of like work it through but you kind of want to leave the ends fluffy you don't want the whole entire length of it to be like melted down now I'm going to take the wax stick and kind of just make sure that the um front of the hair the hairline is super 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 flat and sleek as well and just touching it up anywhere I see fit 
Now that we're done with the important part, let's go ahead and make sure that this one is soaked out. When we walk around, we want that ends to be silky and flawless. I did mention to you guys that this is a yakky texture and I love the fact that although it's yakky, it still gives like a nice silky yakky. It's not like Afro yakky, it gives like, um, you know, like silk pressed. So here I'm just going in with a little concealer. It's bugging me that my C is a little pointy over there to the left, but it's okay. That's the beauty in lace. You can go ahead later on and touch it up. Here is pretty much the final result. You can definitely say what lace with this one, but I did also want to show you guys it parted in different ways and just show off the lace. So this one is going to look super bomb as a center part. It's actually my favorite way to wear this one, but I wear center parts so often I did want to switch it up for you guys. You get a nice extended parting so it looks super natural with or without baby hair, with or without concealer. You really, really, really get a winner with this one. And this is what it looks like if you do like a straight side part part opposed to that C part. Also very gorgeous as well. Literally, literally a flawless wig without any extra needed at all. I'm in love. So in love. Okay, love bucks. So I am just putting the finishing touches on this install. I really, really want to put my melt belt on um, to lay everything down perfect and smooth. But of course, I'm about to cook dinner for the kids, so I'll probably, well, I will put my melt belt on while I cook because why not? I always feel like the melt belt is like the last final like secret weapon step that's really going to have this like, like suck in to my hairline and just everything married together so that it is super lit. If you don't have one, um, I do sell them and I'll have them linked in the description box. Very affordable, but like I said before, like when you're cooking, when you're taking a shower, doing the dishes, running, well not running errands, but anything you're doing around the house or, you know, where you got to stay in the car, highly recommend you always keep your milk belt on. And I feel like when you see social media influencers like Ari, they either always have on like their little milk belt and or their waist shaper because that's how you just maintain things. You keep the waist snatched on there. So I need to take a page out of their book and start back wearing my waist trainer. But anyways, really like the way I achieved, executed this look. So this one came from IDN and I will just go ahead and show you guys the packaging. So this is the box. And then inside, they did give me a little note, but they did include some goodies. I got a pack of wig caps, two dolphin clips, what is this called? Rat tail comb. And then this is their version of the mail belt. So they actually give you one. So if you order from this company, you get one for free. And then also this was inside the wig and this is just the adjustable strap. I personally feel like because I've been wearing wigs for so many years, um, I get a little bit sensitive at my nape now with extra like um, like the wig fan back there being too tight. So I just go ahead and take it out because not thinning or balding in the back, but I don't want to start. So anyways, I feel like I went ahead and went with a social media like Instagram style. I've been seeing how people are doing not only just a curve parting, but like if the curve starts here, they bring it a little bit more further up. Um to do the little Instagram baby hair. So I tried it out. I feel like my curve could have even been a little bit more deeper. Um, but I think I did a good job. It is a subtle difference. Of course, I've done like curve side parts many a times on this channel. But again, I like the way the baby hair came out. It's giving very much Instagram vibes, very much a baby. I like the hair because it is like a yakky straight texture. So I don't even know if you can tell. It's a very fine yakky texture where um, you don't really see the kinks. What I mean by fine is you don't see that kinky um, crimped look too much. But you can definitely see in person how much it's just a natural look for brown skin or just African American texture in general be sure to check this one out in the description box i have all the details links everything you need to know down below thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season as we kick it off and also daylight savings was like two days ago and i don't know how i feel about it i like it when it gets dark later let me know do you like it when it gets dark early because i don't know i feel like that seasonal depression uh starts around this time um 
extracurricular activities with the kids are a little bit more rough because they're getting out at five and it's dark outside. I don't know. Let me know your opinions on it. Do you prefer daylight savings when it gets dark early or when it gets dark late? Either way it goes, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.